Hello, YouTube. I'm back. So, we left off. We did the random number guessing game. I'm done with that vehicle. We have we have covered the topics I wanted to cover using that. And now I'm ready to start diving us into Pi game. We're going to try and make the snake game that I promised so long ago. Um, so, we're going to start from scratch in a new file I made called snake game.py and I have it in my snake tutorial folder and this is where we're going to just kind of start coding. A little thing to note, I have Python 397 there, but I also have Python 3107. So I do have some options to show that are that are a little different uh, as we go through this and I will kind of point this out because one of the new features in 310 is called the match case. It's really cool, very similar to switch cases in C++. If you're already familiar with them, you'll understand what I'm talking about when I get there. So the first thing we're going to do, we obviously have to import, import, not import, import Pygame. We're going to also import sys, which is the first system. And then we're going to start by making the, well, we, let's go ahead and initialize Pygame. Let's make some config items. I'm going to go ahead and take from our previous videos. We did the optimization. We made a dictionary to optimize some of the options like turns and all that. Well, the reason why I wanted to go over that is because it's much easier to control your application if you have a one-stop shop for configuring your, your numbers so that you can quickly look and go, okay, this is this, this is this, this is this. And then you don't have to change it Anywhere else in the program, you only go back and change it in the config. Great idea of how to control it. Uh, a lot of people don't like doing that because you want to have some people want to have their variables as close to execution as possible for readability. And I totally understand that. And that's good for individual variables. It's good when you're working in a lot of functions. But for what we're doing, this is a very basic intro. And we haven't even covered functions, methods, class objects, etc. We are going to get there but not yet. So for now, this is an easy way to make sure we do not mess it up <clears throat> by changing something in multiple places. So the first thing we need is our screen height and width, which are gonna be our screen X and Y. Um, so we're gonna start with screen X, and that is going to be 800, I wanna say. And then we're gonna do screen Y. We'll make that like, 600 uh, and we're going to set a title so we're going to go with screen title and this doesn't actually have to be here but we're going to put it here anyway you can name this whatever you want this is just going to be what's in the title bar at the top of the application um, i'm going to go ahead and create a uh, color called minty green this uses rgb um, red, green, blue values. And I'm going to use this for the background of our application. And it's going to be 40 red, uh, 210 green, and 180 blue. And then I'm going to set a straight red that we're going to use to draw our first rectangle. And that's going to be just 25 or 255, 0 zero and then last but not least let's go ahead and configure the size of our blocks that we're going to work with this is a very blocky based game we're going to call it block size and it's just going to be a 10. Okay. next up we're going to come down and we're going to make the snake in a dictionary for the time being and we're going to give them an x value and a y value very important item here now, the X value, I want to start off with the snake in the center of the screen. So what we need is the exact center of screen X. So the easy way to do that would be we take and fig screen X and divide it in half, divide it by two. We'll do the same thing for the Y, fig screen Y 
and divide it by two. Easy, easy peasy. So now let's go through and make our display and we're gonna call it screen. You can call it screen, you can call it display, you can call it surface. I believe the Pygame documentation calls it surface, but the actual execution of Pygame.display, I think that they should just call it display, but we're gonna call it screen because I feel like it. Uh, and it's gonna be set mode. And then we are going to initialize it with our config screen X comma and then config screen Y. Next up, we are going to take our screen and we are going to fill it with that config minty green. Again, this is working out of the dictionary. So we have keys and, and values. This is, a, this is a member and value situation. So every time we call it by a name, that's the key, that's the left hand side. And then we're going to get the value from that when we are calling this config dictionary. Um, it is doing this little list right here because that is how this is taking in the values. And then this one is just a straight, just return the value from the RGB tuple. Um, so the next thing we need to do is update the screen. So pygame dot uh, display dot update, boom. Now, all that's well and done, but we don't actually have a way to keep the window open at this point. So what we need is a infinite loop while true. We're gonna iterate and do this thing. Okay, so how do we hold it open? Well, we wanna have a way to exit this, right? So this is where our import sys comes in from before. But before we get into that, we have to first check for events. So we want events from uh, Pygame's event handler, which is pygame dot event dot get and this is actually like an event generator handler thing so as events occur like key presses mouse clicks mouse movement that kind of stuff all of that's getting tracked by the event handler in pygame and the event handler dot get is kind of like a generator that just returns the values of what events are occurring and for every event that we get out of that generator we're gonna we're gonna iterate through the following items to determine what actions we need to take so the first thing we're going to need is an ability to exit. So if the event type is a pygame.quit, then what we're going to do is sys.exit. Literally the only reason we loaded sys is to do the sys.exit. Fantastic. So that should be enough to get us started. Now I'm going to do this in the, oh, we're going to do that. We're going to do it down here. Python, nategames.py, big green screen. And that is our minty green that we custom set up here. And it filled the background, fantastic. Okay, so this is checking for key presses and all of that, but outside of that for loop, what we're gonna need is the exact same thing we did right here because every iteration we need to refill the screen with minty green, and then we need to draw whatever we're putting on top of that minty green every frame, basically. So it lets you do frames stacking on top of each other. So we're gonna draw a rectangle. We're gonna draw a rectangle is very easy. It's gonna be pygame.draw.rect. We tell it what screen we're putting it on, which is screen. And then we tell it what color we want it to be, which is gonna be config red and then we have to tell it where we're drawing it on the screen and how big it's going to be so to do that we're going to tell it we want it to be at the coordinates of snake x and snake y those are the coordinates at which we are putting this <clears throat> now we have to tell it how big we want it to be how how tall and how wide so what are the X and Y of the block itself? So this, the X and Y of where it's at is gonna be like the top left corner. And then we draw it out into bigger square. To do that, we're gonna do this the easy way, config 
block size. And we do it twice. One for X and one for Y. So this should draw it right in the middle of the screen. We can't control it. We can't do anything with it. It doesn't move. We're not there yet. Up here in our event handling, we need to check for key presses. So if event.type is equal to high game dot key down, then we need to check what key was pressed. So if event.key was high game dot key left, I like starting on the left. Then what we're going to do is we're going to update the X position of the snake by going snake X minus equals one block size. It's big. Oh, come on. Oops. Config block size, right? Easy. Now, I can take this and I can repeat it over and over again, or I can type this all out manually, which is what I'm going to do because I'm a boring person and don't have anything better to do with my time. Hi game dot K right. The updating snake X position plus equals big. Block size. No, 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 no. There we go. Block size. Now, important to know, minus equal, because it's starting zero zeros at the up, upper left, and then the full eight hundred by six hundred is going to be the bottom right. So minus equal will move us to the left. Plus equal moves to the right. Um, same thing's going to happen when we, when we go up, it's going to be minus equal. When we go down, it's going to be plus equal. So if we take the same set of if statements, we can, and I'm, I'm not going to type them out again. I'm just going to do this. And what we'll do is K up, up, there we go. Thank you. And instead of X, we're doing this to Y. And then this is going to be K down. And instead of X, once again, we do this to Y. And what this will give us, up, down, left, right. And that's all off of my arrow keys. Cool. So this is Python 397. Something we could do that makes us a little bit different is we could do this in a way that Python 10 supports. That's not something you can do in 3.9. It's called a match. And we'll do event key. Just like that. And then it would be case. And here's the fun part. Done. I match the case. Same thing can happen here. We'll do case. Have that in one, I guess two. Uh, add that up, add that up, take that, add that up, paste that. This is just a slightly different format of doing the same thing. Because what's happening here is this is what we're checking. We're going to try and if, if it matches this. And then we check each case against it to see if it matches that. So if this is this, it's going to do that. And if you try to run this in, in 397, you'll get this error saying, hey, that's an invalid syntax because it doesn't know about match. <clears throat> but if we run this in Pi or Python 310 uh, 7, it works just the same as the if then else setup that we were doing. Now, what I will say, and I'm going to take this back to our if statements, it does not have the ability to do this, which is or event.key equal to 
my game dot a underscore a <clears throat> which is a for the WASD and I can take the same or put it down here and make this D for right and down here put it here the W for up and on our K down that would be S so this is why I'm not using a match here is because now I can do WASD for my movement as well as up, down, left, and right. So as far as this goes, this is about as far as I want to take this video because again, I like to keep these a little shorter. I want to make sure that we have plenty of time to digest the information. I will be making another video shortly um, that will have the next iteration portion of this, which is going to be, you know, spawning in apples so that we can eat the apples. And then we'll have to start building a tail for the snake, which is going to be an interesting item to see. Um, but for now, I think this is where we're going to call it. So we're just going to quickly go over and summarize everything so far. We import Pygame and Sys. We initialize Pygame. We made our configuration variables here. We made our snake info here. And this is going to grow because we'll probably put the snake trail and stuff in here. Um, we create our screen with our screen X and screen Y variables from up here. The snake starting position was, is exactly half of screen X and half of screen Y. We put a minty green black background. We update the display. We created a, a while loop that will keep the, keep the window open. And then we check for events. On those events, we adjust the X and Y position of the snake by block size. Then we screen fill and draw the rectangle in the position that it's at. And we update the screen and then it loops back through. Okay, so in editing, I discovered that I left something out. Um, we went ahead and created this screen title. And one of the items that we didn't do was actually use it. So we're going to go in here and we're going to try to use it with pygame dot display dot set underscore caption. I know they use caption, but it's the it's the title bar, I promise. And we will do the big screen title, just like that. So when we run it, there you go. Lexical snake game right there at the top, which is what we've had put right there. All right. Thanks, everybody. So that is where we are at. If you have questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to write them down below. And uh, I will hopefully have another video up soon. I don't know exactly when. I am planning to try and get videos out more frequently. Uh, and I appreciate everybody hanging out and the positive vibes from the configuration videos. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.